Yeah, Alex, you know, I flew here on an Air France flight on Tuesday, and I'm really struck by, like you said, the opulence. This is by far one of the nicest hotels Disney has ever created, definitely catering to a clientele that is want looking to experience you know the finer things in life but the entire hotel is royal themed so we're talking disney princesses from frozen cinderella snow white and as we can see here in this b-roll the chandelier in the lobby i mean when i walked in I, my jaw almost dropped because i just was staring up at it up at it in awe because everything in this hotel is grand from the rooms to the pool to the spa i mean alex i mean you should get on a flight from atlanta and come to paris right now i mean look, look oh, i'm in some royal banquet hall i mean yeah. hello <laughs> <laughs> i i would if i could trust me looking at this video though that we just saw it looks like a castle uh, so far what is your favorite part it is how big is this hotel yeah, so the hotel has over 480 rooms in total. Every single room has been reimagined. And honestly, I think my favorite part was the lobby that we just saw because of kind of the grandness. And as I can, I can look out where I'm looking right now and I can see the castle in the actual park because like you said, this hotel is situated right in front of the entrance of the park, which I've never experienced anything like this before. Uh, and it is just sheer opulence and joy. I mean, you know, it's Disney, so everyone's happy. <laughs> um, and I'm somewhat of a cynic sometimes, but some of that, you know, pixie dust can't help but spring off on you. So I'm happy. I'm in my royal banquet hall. I mean, what do I have to complain about, Alex? You know, not a lot. <laughs> okay, let's talk about um, the dining aspect, because a lot of people plan their vacations around the food they're going to eat as well. Um, what, what, what are we looking at there? Yeah, so for the dining aspect, right now I'm situated in the Royal Banquet Hall. So I actually had breakfast in here this morning. It was a buffet style. They also do a dinner service in here as well, probably in this in that booth that's right behind me. Uh, and then situated next to this is Lumiere's, which is a, more of a fine dining uh, establishment, which I'm dining at tomorrow. And then there's a bar across the way called uh, Fleur de Lis. So it's a Fleur de Lis bar. So they're definitely catering to different kinds of clientele, people looking for cocktails. There's also mocktails for kids. So everyone can enjoy this space it's not just for the adults and there is also a daily kind of parade of princesses so you'll see Belle like we saw in that b-roll and you'll see every Disney princess that you can imagine and the rooms like we're seeing right now some of the rooms light up in these kind of immersive aspects uh, in the picture frames so everything in this hotel has been reimagined and the Imagineers hands down this is probably the best Disney hotel I've ever been to in my entire life and it's going to be very hard for me to leave Alex but you know I'm going to stay in Paris as long as humanly possible <laughs> you do that all right TV host and entertainment expert Andrew Freund thank you so much for joining us and giving us a little uh, peek behind the curtain if you will have a good one thanks Alex